class, welcome back to my video lesson with me, your Empower teacher, Ms. Siska. After we discussed the passive sentence in the previous video, now we're going to discuss the topic from 9A and 10A of your book. Uh, we're going to discuss it in this one video because, at, uh, because uh, that topic is related one another. Before we start, I want to ask you a question, girls. Okay, if you get good grades in exam, what will you do? So, you will probably go on vacation or as a present from your parents or even take your friends to eating out. So, you can do any of these activities, but before that, you need to get a good grades by seeing this video, learning about the topic that we're going to discuss. Okay, now, look at here. The topic of today's video is conditional sentences, first and second type. Okay, now we'll discuss about the first conditional first. I have a sentence, if I pass my exam, I will get into university. Okay, so this is the example of the first conditional. This sentence uh, has two clauses. The first is if I pass my exam. The, this is the if clause. We call it if clause. And the second is I'll get into university. We call it as the main clause. Okay, so this uh, two clauses form one sentence, first conditional. Now I want you to look at the verb that we use in the sentence, pass and will. So if I pass, pass is verb one and will is the first form of model will. Okay, so when you use the sentence into the conversation, it means that you, you talk about the future possibilities. Okay, so this is the possible future situation. You can make it happen as long as you pass your exam, you can get into university. Okay, now after we talk about the first conditional, let's take a look at the second conditional. Okay, if I had more money, I would go on holiday abroad. Okay, so it is also the same. It consists of two clauses. The first clause is a safe clause. The second clause is main clause. Okay, now do you notice something different with the first conditional? Yes, it's the verb. Okay, now in this sentence, we use had and would which is past, uh, simple and also the second uh, form of model will. Okay, now let's take a look at more deeper into the second conditional. If I had more money, I would go on holiday abroad. So this sentence has the meaning, I don't have money, so I cannot go on holiday abroad. This is the meaning when you say this, okay? So, uh, the first, uh, the conditional sentence is the past form, but the meaning is the present form. So, had and would, okay, so it's a present, okay. This is what I'd like to call as a present regret. When you want something different in the present time, you regret it, so you use second conditional to uh, um, to express it, okay? Like if I had more money, I would go on holiday abroad. The meaning, I don't have money, so I cannot go on holiday abroad. Okay, now I want you to pay attention on the use of the verb here. There is some changing of the verb. And the reality, the verb using don't have, it's the present. And in second conditional, it's used had, it's the past. So here what you can do to form the second conditional from the real, uh, real situation. So if the real situation uh, is present simple, or we call it as a present regret, so you have to make the second conditional in the past simple form. So this is the uh, easy thing to remember, present simple change into past simple. Okay, for more detail of the information about this first and second conditional, you can read the grammar review on 9A and 10A of your Empower book. And I hope that you can also do the exercises on the next page. I guess that's all for me today, girls. See you again next meeting. Bye-bye for now.